Hello everyone! Today I'll tell you about such metal as barium. Barium is the most active of the alkali earth metals. It is located near the bottom of the second group in the table of chemical elements. Like many active metals, to protect it from corrosion, barium is stored in either mineral oil or kerosene. Externally, barium looks like a grey metal due to the oxide layer covering it. The hardness of barium resembles lead. You can cut a piece of barium with a pair of pliers. On the cut, you can observe that the shiny metal surface quickly oxidizes in air and tarnishes. Since barium is the most active of the alkali earth metals, it reacts very actively with ethyl alcohol, forming ethanolate barium and hydrogen. Through this water, barium reacts even more vigorously, releasing large quantities of hydrogen also forming during this reaction with water barium hydroxide. This compound is only slightly soluble in water, and hence the solution becomes turbid. If we wet the thymolphthalein indicator into the glass with barium hydroxide, the solution will become blue due to the alkaline environment within the solution. By the way, soluble compounds of barium are toxic, and you need to be extremely careful while working with them. For ions of barium, there is a very good quality experiment we can do. If to the solution of salt of barium, such as the barium chloride, we add some sodium sulfate, then what will form is the almost insoluble in water white precipitate of barium sulfate. This reaction is very sensitive and it can be a very helping hand in detecting even small concentrations of sulfate in water. By the way, barium sulfate is used in medicine for X-ray studies of the gastrointestinal tract, such as radiocontrast substance. Barium metal on its own burns quite well in air. However, due to the relatively low melting temperature, it does not burn completely and burns with pumping action. This behavior is caused by the partially formed peroxide of barium, which reacts with the metal barium and in that time the combustion is briefly enhanced. As a result of barium burning in the air, we get barium oxide. This oxide is used to create high temperature superconducting ceramics, as well as an additive in the specialty glass grown glass with low refractive index. On the wooden surface, Barium burns more intensely because of an additional reaction with the cellulose from wood. If a piece of barium is rubbed on a file, you will notice the formation of small sparks from the combustible particles of barium on air. Like other active metals, barium can react with sand recovering silicon from its oxide. With sulfur the reaction goes rapidly, as with strontium. Nowadays the metal barium is mainly used as an additive to aluminum alloy, silumin. In the heyday of tube radio, barium was used as a getter, that is the absorber of gases in vacuum tubes, to maintain high vacuum in them. If you break the lamp, you can see how quickly a thin layer of barium oxidizes. Also, compounds of barium are used in pyrotechnics to create the green color. Now you know a little bit more about one of the other metals. If you would like to support the continuous production of science videos like this one, please support channel on Patreon, link in the video description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see many more new and interesting.